Good morning, welcome to Mama So's Kitchen. Today I want to share a recipe with you that my family loves. And whenever I take this somewhere to a church event or a friend's house, they always say they want the recipe. And it is something that we'll keep in the refrigerator for a week, really. And uh, we just love it. It's marinated coleslaw. Now, the recipe is in my cookbook on page 13. But I want to tell you that instead of making the recipe um, for this amount, this would be like if you were having guests over for dinner or you were going to take it somewhere like to church. But I'm making this just for Harold and me, so I'm going to half what it says. We're going to make the marinade, the, the things that I'll pour over the vegetables first. So remember, I'm halving what my recipe says in the book. Okay, I'm gonna put one half cup of granulated sugar, one half cup of white vinegar, <clears throat> and one half cup of oil, and I'm using vegetable oil. You can use whatever you like. All right, it's the liquid ingredients. Then I'm going to put one half teaspoon of salt. one half teaspoon of celery seed, and I'm gonna put three-fourths teaspoon of mustard seed, and the reason I'm gonna put three-fourths is because the recipe, if I was making the full amount, calls for um, three teaspoons. So I'm, no, I'm gonna put a teaspoon and a half. So you put more celery seed than anything. So let me find the half. Y'all, I get every time I use my wonderful mixing spoons, <clears throat> measuring spoons. I have someone say, I don't know why you keep them together. I'm gonna tell you because they're right there when I need them. I don't have to search for a certain um, spoon that may be stuck in the back of the drawer and I don't have a place to hang them on my ca cabinets. Now I'm gonna put this mixture right here on my stove and I'm just going to cook it until the mixture, <clears throat> the sugar has dissolved and I'll be back. Okay, while that is heating up, <clears throat> I have used my chopper that I love. If, if I had one gadget that I would hate to do without. Now, I'm not talking about knives and measuring spoons and things like that because that's a given. But this little chopper right here has saved me so much time. And I have already chopped the green pepper. We're going to do one bell pepper and one onion and I have cut my onion in probably um, I cut it in a half and then cut that half so in fourths but I'm, some of the pieces were too big and it takes if you've got them too big harder to chop but chop this is wonderful and you can find it if you go to MamaSueSouthernKitchen.com and look under favorite products. 
it's going to show you where you can order this, and it's great. Okay, you can use a cabbage that you would like if you wanted to grate it. I usually like angel hair cabbage. My grocery didn't have it. They had this. It's mixed with green and red and carrots, and that is going to even be delicious also. But if you just want cabbage, you can do any of that. So, I'm putting this in my bowl. I'm going to put the peppers and onions that I grated together, that I grated, that I chopped. And then, let me check, I think this may be ready. It, it was just that amount of time I never stopped the video in. So it has mixed, and then I'm gonna pour this over it. Get all those little seed out because that gives it flavor. And then I'm just going to mix it together. That's a big piece, I'm gonna take that out. But y'all, this is, makes a very pretty slaw with this, these uh, pretty colors in here. Of course, you have to refrigerate this because the <clears throat> things that you're marinating with it is hot right now. But... I promise you that this is good. It's good to take to picnics because it doesn't have mayonnaise. Love slaw with mayonnaise. This is just two different ways. So, I'm going to get a plate and just put some on it so I can show you what it looks like. But I am going to put it back in here to put it in the refrigerator. But I just want you to see how pretty. So pretty. Y'all, that didn't take me 10 minutes from start to finish. So I want you to try this. <clears throat> the recipe is also, some of you who haven't been following me very long um, may not know, but I used to put my recipes on my Facebook page and you had to look under my photos and things like that. But since I have my website, the day that the video post if you will go to mama sue southern and you will look there is the the dish that i prepared with the recipe that you're able to print but if you already have the cookbook uh you can look in it for this recipe and to find this wonderful chopper look on my website under favorite products and you will find it and you'll love it I want you to remember to be salt and light. Yesterday, the verse that I wrote said, Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I think everybody knows that verse. You know what it means, too? You want to be treated nice. So, you do to others just as if you wanted them to do to you. Be salt and light. Let others see Jesus, and I'll be back soon.